Medium Altitude Long Endurance Remotely Piloted Aircraft Systems, or MAIL RPAS, are large drones that have traditionally been used for military operations. But these versatile drones can also be used for a number of civilian applications, such as search and rescue. To make this possible, new procedures to safely integrate MAIL RPAS into civilian airspace need to be developed. Royal NLR, Netherlands Aerospace Center, in partnership with General Atomics Aeronautical Systems and Information System Delft, has performed a series of advanced human-in-the-loop simulations to develop MAIL RPAS airspace integration procedures. The experiments were performed using two NLR simulators. The NLR ATM Research Simulator, or NARSIM, which simulates air traffic and provides working positions for air traffic controllers and pilots, and the NLR Multi-UAS Supervision Testbed, or MUST, which functions as the RPAS simulator. The General Atomics MQ-9B Sky Guardian Mail RPAS is used as a representative case study. In June 2022, the third experiment in this series was completed. The experiment was performed by three air traffic controllers and six pilots, and it considered operations around Rotterdam Airport, a civilian airport in the Netherlands. This experiment focused on the procedures needed for detect and avoid. DAA provides the RPAS pilot with a display of the traffic situation around the RPAS, including alerts and guidance to make sure that the RPAS remains at a safe distance from surrounding aircraft and avoids collisions in critical situations. In this study, DAA alerting and guidance was provided to the pilot using the General Atomics Conflict Prediction Display System, CPDS. The experiment tested carefully selected conflict scenarios with other air traffic, which would force the RPAS to change course to maintain safety. The results indicated that DAA improves airspace safety and that pilots and air traffic controllers become quickly accustomed to operations with DAA. Detailed results will be fed back to standardization bodies on both sides of the Atlantic to accelerate the integration of male RPAS into civilian airspace.